know what it is, you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. My name is Marcus. Uh, we are coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Here in Nevada, in the middle of nowhere, in the desert. And we have run into a good friend of the show, Steve and his Acura NSX. Now, you guys may remember, if you are OG Roads Untraveled subscribers, you will remember back in 2015, we filmed a video with six Acura NSXs, first gen, six first gen Acura NSXs. Uh, and we basically did a profile on all of the cars and their owners, and you guys really liked it. Um, but in that shoot, I never actually drove any of the cars. It was more a piece on the community of NSXs up there in Vancouver, Canada. So Steve has actually moved down here to Vegas and we found ourselves down here in Vegas on our way back up to Vancouver from LA. It's a long story, you guys, doesn't really matter. Anyways, the point is we're here now and I'm driving an NSX. <laughs> this is one of my dream cars, one of my all time dream cars. Uh, you guys know I own a second generation MR2, which is a very affordable mid-engine sports car. It looks pretty exotic, but it's not an NSX. The NSX is like the ultimate Japanese mid-engine sports car, or supercar if you want to call it. Uh, and especially with the power level uh, and modifications that Steve has done, which I will demonstrate in one second, it's definitely a supercar. 3,500 RPM. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, single turbocharged. <laughs> All right, we got 452 wheel horsepower, an appropriate number and a much more uh, respectable number than the roughly 270 or 280 horsepower that the NSX came with. has had this car for a very long time. Uh, it's a 91 NSX. It looks like the later versions, it looks like an 02 because he has a full 02 front conversion with the fixed headlights. He's got a big wing on it. He's got a uh, big brake kit, stop tech brakes uh, all around. He's got an insane amount of modifications on the interior here. There's a 12 inch sub <laughs> right where the passenger footwell is. Uh, we've got carbon fiber all around here on the inside. Some really great accents uh, and Basically, he built himself his own supercar. I mean, this is a one-of-a-kind car. And there's no other NSX like it. But let's give it a little boot here. <laughs> Woo! Very long gears in the NSX. Uh, it's got a five-speed transmission. It doesn't really need uh, a sixth gear because it does have very long gears, which a lot of people kind of complain about with the NSX and being like, okay, well, it's a rev-happy engine, so you, you really have to be in, like, second gear to get any power. Um, but with a turbocharger, you're rolling through the gears a lot more often because you're in and out of boost, right? Um, so it kind of works. It works a lot better. Like, that was a third-gear pull, um, and it just kept going and it kept going. I mean, we just about hit 11 miles an hour there uh, at the top of third gear, which is pretty spectacular. But guess what? It's a perfect Vegas car. I get it now, Steve. I get it. It's a perfect Vegas car. Not only is does it still retain that NSX road presence and the ability that the NSX has from the factory uh, to stick to the road uh, as far as handling characteristics go, but it's also a great straight line vehicle now as well, which the original NSX was not. This, it, it's not computing yet. <laughs> not only is it not computing yet that I'm driving an NSX out here in the desert, but it's also not computing that 
this car in my mind should be like a Honda. You know, it's VTEC, it's all top end power. It's a rev happy NA engine, but no. <laughs> it really screams at you <laughs> directly behind your head. There's nothing, you guys, like a turbocharger spooling up directly behind your ears. Look, I know there are factory purists out there, but let's look at the facts. This car is faster in every way than a stock NSX. Its stopping power is on another level, and it's impossible to ignore that very functional downforce. I'm not saying that more power is always better, but the key is it's still the same car underneath, and Steve has made sure to keep it that way. He worked with his tuner to lower the RPMs at which VTEC pulls in more fuel, specifically to match their desired turbo hardware and tune. It's a brilliant way to build a power band, and one that is very specific to the NSX and its gear ratios. So if you have 4000 RPM, you get boost at the same time as VTEC kicks in. So like, the rush of torque and power right there... Uh, is frankly unlike anything I've really felt before. Uh, it's a very, I mean, honestly, it's very similar to the 2017 NSX that I briefly drove yesterday in terms of power delivery, which is pretty cool, but 4,500 RPM, second gear, 8,000 RPM. <laughs> nice to heel toe. Pops a couple, couple backfires there, and you're on your way. Honestly, you guys, um, <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing car. What did you want me to say? I mean, the engine sounds like nothing I've ever heard in my life. And I'm not just saying that. I was not expecting uh, this kind of a noise to come from a Honda V6. This is, this is the last... This is the last thing I would expect out of a Honda V6, but it truly does perform. Honda will never make a car like this again. Beyond taking out the primitive traction control system, Steve's car was never optioned with power steering, so 100% of the burden is on you if you loop it off the road. There's a level of self-control that is required behind the wheel of a turbocharged NSX, just the same as the city itself. And that's when we realize it's a perfect match, right? Las Vegas won't take the blame for your misfortune or lawlessness, and neither will the NSX. Thank you, Steve, so much. Appreciate you bringing the car out. Appreciate you having us drive the car and show us around Las Vegas for a couple of days. I will always have a hard time calling the new NSX an NSX. This right here, Steve's car, is an NFX. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.